so just look how dark it is today and it's like quarter to eight as well but it's still so so dark outside it looks like it's about nine o'clock at night or something first job let's get these parcels labeled up so parcel sack is now downstairs so i am just what well, i've got a cold as you can probably tell i am just doing some messages i'm answering some messages um i've let them build up for a couple of days so i need to address some of the uh, various different people's messages it's probably i would say nowadays messages is probably my least the least favorite part of the job for me it used to be i would say it used to be listing um but now it just messages because the amount of messages i get is just insane like some days like a couple of months ago it's not been so bad the last month or so but a couple of months ago i was getting like five messages a day i had days where i was getting close to 10 messages a day you know on the on the peak end of it and uh, it's just insanity really when you're getting so many messages so what i try and do to combat that these days is anything you know like um you know pottery or anything like that or glassware anything like that i always put my measurements in the photos but then you still get people messaging you who haven't viewed the photos properly so yeah still um you just can't really get away from messages that much that's what i've learned in this job um but you've got to at least um you know answer them you've got to at least respond so yeah um whenever i do my messages i try and get them done in the morning because in the afternoon or the evening, I just can't be bothered doing messages. I just honestly can't be do bothered doing it. So that's what I'm doing now, and I'm getting some um, offers done as well. So breakfast time now, and I need it with this cold. I've had this cold for like, well, it was since the 24th, so and we're on the 2nd now, so I'm trying to work it out. I think it's like 9 or 10 days. I think it's the longest period of time I've ever had a cold for. I, I've never known having a cold for 9 or 10 days straight, but it's actually even worse today than it has been like for the, the for the majority of the nine days so really really weird so i'm gonna grab breakfast now and then we are gonna get on So I'm actually back now, I actually went out just very quickly to um, do a couple of things, you know, get the parcels off and stuff, uh, went into town very quickly, um, but yeah, essentially, um, I've got a few more things to do today, it's now half eleven, um, I've got some listing to do, I've already got some photos on my computer, so I'm just going to use those, um, I've got some listing to do, and I need to do some more parceling up as well, that that lot can then go out tomorrow, um, but it's really not like... Um, it's not very motivating when, you, when you're ill or you've got a cold or anything to actually do work. But when you're self-employed and when, like, over the Christmas period, I've not done any listing or anything like that. And I've kind of said to myself, well, it's okay, I'm, I'm having a break, that's fine. Um, and I was ill at the same time, so, you know, it was kind of okay. So I was like, well, I'm treating this as a break and I'm ill, so I'll get over my cold. And then when I get back, back into it on the 2nd of Jan, I should be okay. But... I didn't get over the cold, however, when the 2nd of Jan rolls around, the work doesn't, uh, you know, stop piling up or anything, so when you're self-employed, you kind of just got to get on and do the work, even if you are ill, even if things aren't really going your way or whatever, even if you don't feel motivated to do the work, you've just got to get on and do it, so that's kind of a sad truth, but at the same time, I love what I do, but when you're ill, it's like, it, it feels harder to do it, so... Um, yeah, I'm going to get on, I'm going to do what I can today, and um, we'll see what I get done, and hopefully I'll get a few little bits done. So, I've now had lunch, and the parcels are done, I will just flip you around. Parcels are on the bed, as you can see, I think it was about six to do, so it wasn't too bad. Um, and yeah, now I need to order my um, eBay packaging, you know, you get the free £10 voucher if you've got a featured shop. Uh, I need to remember to do that, because... Uh, I didn't do it for so long and I missed out on some free packaging there so I'll try and do it at the start of every month now. Yay, here is the voucher. I think I'm going to spend the extra 67p and uh, get these ones. I had these ones last time, I've still got a few of them actually. And they're pretty decent size. Uh, they're good for things that basically you can't quite fit in a jiffy um, but obviously you just want a small little box for them. These are quite a, a nice size for that. Um, so yeah, gonna grab some of them. 
boom, voucher is applied and I've only got 67 pence to pay. So be sure to use your packaging voucher if you do get them. Um, obviously, it's nice just getting a little bit of free packaging or obviously there I paid like 67 pence. So uh, pretty nice just to get some uh, packaging for next to nothing, essentially. Well, what do you think? Is it about time I get on with some listing? I think so. <music> So I've done five listings now. I also had to contact a guy about some bubble wrap because uh, basically about a month ago, some bubble wrap that I ordered never turned up. I've been contacting them back and forth before Christmas, but nothing really ever got resolved. And then obviously we had Christmas and New Year. So I've left it and uh, now I've contacted them back today. They've said to me they're going to be fully looking into it or all, all the rest of it. But to be honest, I'm at the point now where I just want a refund. So hopefully uh, they'll just, you know, give me a refund or, they can get some bubble wrap to me ASAP um, obviously I've already gone off and ordered some more because you know I need it so yeah that was a bit annoying but I've done that so that's a, a good job done um, I realized I've not got any um, not as many photos as I thought on my uh, computer so I'm going to do some uh, photography now which I didn't really want to do but you know, if I want to get 10 listings done today, then I've got to do some photography. So, yeah, I'm going to do that now and uh, then go off for a walk and then do the rest of the listings later on. So here's some of the items just randomly on my uh, photography area that I can photo. I've got a random load of cutlery there. I think I might just do that in a job lot, but I might sort it out. I'm not sure. Um, and then I've got some Dot2 stuff there. And then we've got this really nice... Um, it's so not like a stein or a tankard or whatever, it's ceramic tankard or, well, basically a stein. Um, but yeah, that's really nice that is actually there. I really do like that. Um, I don't think it's got any chips or anything. Uh, it has something around here, but it's not necessarily a chip. Um, but yeah, that looks really, really nice. I bet you there's some good value in that. I can just see, see the value there. You can see it's like a figure of a man or something there. It's really, really well done. Um, so I bet you there's some good money in that. I'm not listing that for cheap anyway. Even if there isn't good money in it, I'm just going to hold out for a high price because I think it's, I just think it's worth some good money that. <laughs> My God, it is so cold today. I've just been out for a walk. Um, and yeah, now I've got the uh, remainder of the listings to do. So I have just finished my 10 listings for the day. It's now, well, you can probably see up there actually. It's like uh, quarter past three. So uh, pretty happy with that. Um, slowly getting back into it today, obviously, as we start to enter January and I start to feel a little bit better. Hopefully, I'll be able to get back into it more and more. Um, I'm thinking of doing more vlogs, as I mentioned, on my previous vlog. Um, so be sure to be looking out for those in the future as well. Um, it just seems to be like a, a quite a nice format for me to do vlogs. They're quite easy to do while I'm doing, obviously, the work that I'm doing in the day. Um, and also, I want to talk about something else before we close off the vlog so I will do that in the next segment. So I wanted to close up this vlog just by talking a little bit about um, social media and reselling. So essentially about two days ago I made the decision to delete the Facebook app and the Messenger app and even my Instagram off my phone. Now the reason I did this was because I identified that I was slowly just getting into this habit of scrolling through um, all these different things, both negative and positive, and it was having an impact on me. It was making me feel um, sometimes inferior to people, sometimes um, superior. I was feeling this, um, I don't know, this kind of low-level anxiety with social media, essentially. And uh, I thought to myself, oh, well, I'll never delete Facebook, I'll never delete Instagram. You know, I think to myself I will, but I'll never actually do it. And I thought to myself, well, why don't I just delete the apps? Because I can always, like, you know, reinstall them. So I've decided what, after having, like, two or three days now of, of assessing this and having a bit of a break from that, I've decided what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep Instagram and I'm actually going to 
basically just leave Facebook and Facebook Messenger and stuff off my phone. Now, I don't do Twitter anymore anyway, so that's not a concern or anything like that. Um, YouTube is one that I'll always do. I'll always do YouTube, even if sometimes it can be a little bit negative or there can sometimes be negative comments in there. And especially with some of the weird content I do, I've just got to accept that that is always going to be present. All of my audience is never going to accept what I do. Um, I think that's the same for any creator anyway. Um, but certainly with Facebook, Facebook Messenger, I'm ending up just like scrolling or, or messaging people or whatever. It's generally when you're scrolling more than just messaging people. But when you're scrolling, you know, you're seeing negative posts and then you're seeing positive posts. And it just feels to me Facebook is more negative than Instagram or Facebook is more negative than YouTube. And I wanted to cut some of that negativity out in my social media uh, sort of usage. So... Um, from now on, I am going to be using Instagram mainly. Um, I will try and have breaks from in Instagram as well and try and have breaks from YouTube just to um, reconnect with the world and disconnect from social media because I feel like I've just been in this bubble of social media for so long and um, you do kind of disconnect with the real world a little bit in some weird kind of way. So I am going to actually talk about this on Thursday Talks tomorrow, so I won't go into it any more than I have. Uh, I want to actually make this the topic on Thursday Talks, and I want to discuss um, a little bit more in depth. I want to discuss other people's opinions on this, whether social media is damaging as a reseller, whether it's actually a huge help, because I do honestly believe it still is a huge help as a reseller um, if you're feeling isolated, but I think there are certain social media platforms um, that are a little bit more friendlier and um, will help you get that social outlet in a more positive way. Um, and I think there's certain groups as well that are more positive than other groups, etc. So, um, yeah, I'm going to leave it there for this, but I will leave it there for this vlog, actually, because I've done all I set out to do today. Probably won't be doing much else retailing related. So I hope you enjoyed it, guys. If you did, give it a like down below. Um, if you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel. And, uh, yeah, I will see you in the next one. I will see you tomorrow for Thursday Talks, or when you're watching this, actually, Thursday Talks have already happened. Um, so, yeah, anyway, I'll see you very soon.